Hey guys, I think you're starting to notice a trend. I'm either in my pajamas or I'm in my gym clothes. It's pajama time. So we're doing dinner and I decided tonight on parsnips grocery store. They come in a bag. They're a lot like carrots. They look like carrots. They're a little different in texture and they're a little different, different in flavor, but they're delicious. They're a little sweeter. Went and got a bag of rainbow carrots. Trader Joe's. Uh, they happen to be organic. I just like the rainbow carrots because I do think they're sweeter. So what I've done, I kind of cheated. I just peeled them and I took my little new West knife, which I love their knives, and just cut them up. So cut them up, put them in my microwave steamer. Nothing expensive. These are five bucks at the grocery store, whatever. I diced everything up. You put a little water in the bottom and you put the lid on it. You put this in your microwave for, I start with probably five minutes if they're a hearty vegetable. If it's something that's not quite so hearty, I only put it in for maybe three. And then taste them. If they're, if they're uh, crisp, great. If you like them crisp, fine. If not, give them another 30 second interval until they're the texture that you want. Don't overcook them, they taste bad. Secondly, I, do, I use uh, rotisserie chicken from Costco. Again, I love their chicken because I'm lazy. It's really easy to use. I clean it, I take the skin off. Costco chicken is brined, that's why it tastes good. There's salt in it. There are no preservatives per the guy that works at Costco. They just brine it. I take a wet paper towel and I set it on top of the Costco chicken. So when I'm done nuking my vegetables, I'm gonna take this uh, Costco chicken and I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I do not nuke this for more than about a minute. You don't want to cook the chicken. You don't want to dry out the chicken. You just want to heat it. Then you're going to put the two together and I'm going to put the vegetables on the bottom. I'm going to put the chicken on the top. For my meal, I make a homemade balsamic vinaigrette and this is really my salad dressing. It's really easy. It is equal parts balsamic, um, some kind of an olive oil or I like grapeseed oil because it's really good for heart healthy. It's good for cholesterol. Um, a tablespoon-ish, a dollop of uh, Dijon mustard. And if your balsamic is sweet enough, you don't have to add honey or any kind of a sweetener. If you do add a sweetener, I tend to use, whoops, I didn't put the lid on. Um, I tend to use like uh, the blue or Truvia or Trulia or whatever it is, one of the, the imitation sweeteners, so you don't put a lot of sugar in it, but it's way better than anything you're gonna buy. The other thing you have to remember, if your balsamic is sweet, and I buy a balsamic at Grocery Outlet, I put a couple of these in my pantry and I let them sit. You don't need to buy an expensive balsamic. This was $7.99. The longer it sits, the sweeter it's going to taste, and then you don't have to buy anything expensive. For my salad dressings, this is a uh, star. It's not, not real grassy. It's not overly flavored. Grocery store, nine bucks. That's what I use in my balsamic vinaigrette. When I'm going to serve my meal later for myself and my husband, I like a better quality balsamic, or pardon me, uh, olive oil. You want to kind of use a gauge. Good olive oil is average about $20, $25 a bottle. That helps you. This is also another one of my favorites. Uh, this comes from a friend of ours vineyard, uh, Gary Kramer. They make beautiful olive oil. It is very grassy. It's very peppery. It tastes wonderful on plain pasta with a little salt and pepper. Anywho, put all this in the microwave. When you're done with this, put the chicken on top. Use your little sauce on top. I'm going to grate some fresh Parmesan cheese. If you're so inclined, put it over rice, put it over um, pasta, whatever you so wish. I'm going to serve it with a salad and I'll show you what it looks like later. Thanks for joining me. Manja manja. Good night.